Good evening, gubernatorial candidates debating for the first and only time ahead of next month's election. For about an hour, they sold their stances on abortion, the economy, crime and other issues to voters. And our Jason Raven has a recap. To answer the question, Debate night in South Carolina. Incumbent Republican Governor Henry McMaster and Democratic challenger, former Congressman Joe Cunningham face off. We've had some great successes, but we've also had some unusual things. We've had to battle Washington the whole time. I've never seen so many bad ideas come out of one place in such a short period of time in all my life. I'm sick and tired of the divisiveness. I also, I'm also sick and tired of the extremists in politics, just like Governor McMaster. I'm running for governor to expand freedom. And right away, both were asked about their differing views on abortion. If politicians are able to come into your doctor's offices, what could they not do? That's why the consequences of this election are so dire. Because if an abortion ban comes to the governor's desk without exceptions, he'll sign it. And I'll veto it. What Mr. Cunningham is for is pre row And as we know, that allowed abortions up to, uh, or, uh, up to 24 weeks. That is six months. That is six months that Roe allowed abortions for any reason or no reason at all. That is the radical position. With South Carolinians impacted by inflation and bracing for a possible recession, each candidate talked about their economic policies. We've cut taxes. Do you know that the income tax rates in South Carolina <clears throat> have never been cut before? We cut them this time from 7 percent. It's going to go down to 6 percent. We've got more people working right now than we've ever had before. Folks, we can be that economic lighthouse for businesses that will either want to grow or expand in the South Carolina. But we have to have new ideas and we have to have a new vision. Now both Cunningham and McMaster say they will look to make changes to the state's criminal justice system and take steps to keep violent repeat offenders behind bars. The governor's catch and release program on violent offenders is clearly not working. And every single person in this state should feel safe when their kids walk out the door. We need to have reform. We need to enhance the penalties. But the main thing is we have to see that we're catching these people. Now both candidates said they would accept the results of November's election. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.